Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic that often worries new parents. Why is this newborn grunting? You might notice that right after birth or in the first few days of life, some babies make unusual noises, especially when breathing. Grunting can be alarming for parents, but it is actually quite common and can have different causes. In this video, we'll break down what grunting means, the possible reasons behind it, when it's normal, and when it could be a sign of something more serious. We'll also talk about how doctors evaluate and manage a grunting newborn. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of your baby's health and when to seek help. Grunting is a sound that newborns make during breathing, especially when exhaling. It is often described as a low, soft, or sometimes harsh, uh, or ugh noise. Grunting occurs when a baby is trying to keep their alveoli, the tiny air sacs in the lungs, open. When the alveoli collapse slightly, the baby instinctively grunts to increase pressure in the lungs and make breathing easier. This is a natural reflex in some cases, particularly in the first few hours or days of life, especially for premature babies or babies who had a difficult delivery. It is important to note that grunting is different from crying. While crying is loud and usually rhythmic, Grunting is irregular and often occurs with labored breathing, meaning the baby may also have chest retractions, flaring nostrils, or rapid breathing. Parents should observe the frequency and intensity of grunting. Occasional grunting that stops with rest or feeding may not be serious. Persistent, loud, or accompanied by other signs of distress should prompt medical attention immediately. Grunting in newborns can be caused by several conditions ranging from mild and temporary to more serious health issues. Let's look at some common causes. Transitional breathing after birth. To when babies are born, their lungs transition from fluid-filled to air-filled. Some babies grunt as they adjust to breathing air. This usually resolves within a few hours or days. 2. Prematurity. A premature babies often have underdeveloped lungs and may lack surfactant, a substance that helps keep alveoli open. This can lead to respiratory distress syndrome, RDS, and grunting is one of the first signs. 3. Transient tachypnea of the newborn TTN. TTN occurs when fluid remains in the lungs after birth. Babies with TTN may grunt, breathe rapidly, or show mild chest retractions. This condition usually improves within one to three days with supportive care. 4. Infections. A newborns with pneumonia or sepsis may grunt due to difficulty breathing. In these cases, grunting is often accompanied by fever, lethargy, poor feeding, or bluish skin. 5. Meconium aspiration. If a baby inhales meconium-stained amniotic fluid during delivery, the airways may become partially blocked, causing grunting, rapid breathing, and sometimes cyanosis, bluish discoloration of skin. Six congenital heart or lung conditions. A rarely, grunting may indicate a structural problem such as a heart defect or congenital lung disease. Babies may show persistent grunting, poor oxygen levels, and fatigue. Understanding the cause is crucial because treatment depends on the underlying condition. While occasional grunting can be harmless, certain signs alongside grunting require urgent medical attention. Persistent grunting that doesn't stop after a few minutes of rest. Rapid or labored breathing, more than 60 breaths per minute. A chest retractions, skin pulling in between ribs or under the ribcage. Flaring nostrils, a bluish lips, face or extremities. A lethargy, poor feeding or weak cry. If you notice any of these signs, do not wait. Call your pediatrician or take your baby to the nearest hospital immediately. Early recognition and treatment. Grunting in newborns is a common concern but understanding the reasons behind it can help parents stay calm and informed. From normal transitional breathing to more serious conditions like RDS, infections, or heart and lung problems, the causes vary. Always remember that persistent, severe, or accompanied grunting with other symptoms should be evaluated immediately. Early assessment by healthcare professionals can make all the difference in your baby's health. We hope this video has helped you understand why newborns grunt and how to respond. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more educational content on newborn health. Stay informed, stay calm, and keep your baby safe. 